Hello and welcome to my 2023 Sanders Lake Frozen Chosen match video. I am Mauser Dude. As you can tell by the little bit of ice on the range, it was at least a little bit cold. Though not nearly as cold as a real, real battle. One of the main purposes of this match for me was to test my reloading skills. I reloaded all the ammo I used for this match. And this is a picture of my reloading setup. I did a little testing a couple weeks before with my ammo, and this is one of the test targets I used. So it was pretty pretty close. Um, I think I made one click to the right adjustment on my sights after the last range trip. This match, the first string is actually a sight in string that's not scored. You can kind of take 10 shots, almost as long as you want, to kind of check, it, check your loads and make sure everything's running right. So this is just a snippet of me double speed doing that. And this was my sight in target. So everything looked like it was doing okay. That's not too bad of a target. And here, here is string one, the prone slow fire stage. You have 10 minutes, take 10 shots from prone. And you're allowed to use a sling for the prone stages. So I'm all slung up trying to use my apple seed skills and somehow I didn't manage to pick up a round on the first two round clip there so the two round clip was kind of giving me trouble during the match uh, and I can't quite get it to seat so I have to finagle it a little bit and you can also check your check your hits as you're going so I did that for the prone slow fire kind of make sure everything's going okay and trying to use all the skills I picked up in Appleseed to make sure I'm spot on. Got a sling set up, taking a breath, pulling the trigger at the bottom of the breath, follow through, all that kind of stuff. And this is the first first target. So we got a 91 with a one X ring hit. So that's really good for me. I'm very happy with that. I would take that. All 10 on the paper there. Then string two is the prone rapid fire. You have 70 seconds to take 10 shots and you start with a clip loaded and ready to go. So as soon as the buzzer goes off, you can go ahead and start shooting. And just like last year, I had some issues in the rapid fire. So the first two rounds go off okay. Then I kind of have some issue inserting the clip. So I'll try again, get it in, slap it in a, in a position. And for some reason, the, the second round didn't pick up. So I'm not sure if that's a reload issue, my issue, the gun issue, or what. So there'll be a click here. So eject nothing, right? So it didn't pick up a round. And go ahead and keep shooting. And this, of course, puts you in the mental state where, oh, i got to make up some shots. So every breath, at the end of every breath, you end up taking a shot as soon as the sights line up. You can see this is a uh, real speed, so you can let the whole whole thing in to 70 seconds. And you can see the clip eject. So I had about five or six seconds left. And this is the second target. I got a 92 with one X ring, which is very good for rapid fire. I I would take that all day long. I I somehow managed to pull that out. So that was that was pretty good. Then string three is standing slow fire. This is very challenging to do, especially with such a heavy rifle. Um, I tried doing some a lot of dry fire, holding the rifle up and stuff, and it still didn't seem to help very much. <laughs> so, so I left the. This is double speed. Uh, me shooting for at least the first couple of rounds. Um, I had a bunch of at least three times when I pulled the trigger, I knew it, knew it felt wrong. And I think it was on shots three or three or four, and then another two later on. So you'll kind of see, well, if you watch the whole video, you'll see me kind of shake my head after a couple of the shots and you'll see why at the target at the end of the, at the end of this string here. So here, I'm trying to reset between shots and relax. I don't bother checking the, the scope for my hits at this point because it doesn't really 
I don't think it helps you too much. It's actually probably distracting. I know the rifle's on. I know it, it's it's just me at this point. So I just I just kind of shoot blind. And here it is. This was terrible. It was a 67. Two of the shots were off the paper to the top. So that was that was pretty bad. Uh, I did get manage to get one X-ring though. So half the shots in the black and three flyers and whatever. So I ended up getting a 250 with a 3x. And you'll see in a second here the final scores. I ended up coming in second, which was really great. Only disappointment was if I had managed to land those two two high sh flyers anywhere in the scoring rings, I would have come in first. So better luck next year. As always, thanks to Mark for putting on the match. It's fantastic. Had a lot of fun. It was good to see more people show up this year. And thanks to Marilee, Gus, and Sprinkles for all their support. I couldn't do it without them. I'll see everybody next week at the Chesapeake Cup. Later.